Megan AJ, and in today's video, hold on, um, this is a little off. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing. Hold on, let me get it. This is uh, this is really heavy. Um, this. So you probably don't know what this is. This is a. Uh, this is something my dad and I made. It is a um doll locker. I don't really know why this was made but it was made and it gives me something to paint on um this did turn out really good this did take a very long time so i'm just showing you what it is this is all made by hand um i need to loot that side and i will do that later just showing the basis of what's happening okay so i'm just gonna set it down thin on the top to and the side of the doors get it smooth and before I can send the actual door down I need to take all these stickers off um this this was pretty easy uh these were just like puffy stickers so they weren't too challenging to come off or take off and I, I took them off and then I just I stuck them somewhere else because I don't know why not so this was kind of tricky because I needed the doors to be shut but the doors kept swinging open. I did get that fixed in the end. See, this is where I'm putting the stickers. Um, well, some of them. Most of them not, but yeah. So. Okay, so I've finished sanding it. Well, sanding it as much as I think it's thin enough. The corners are rounded. Sort of. Kind of. It's good enough. Um. So now I'm talking about, so I had to, I ended up having to take the audio out because it was just really loud of this audio. So what I was saying was pretty much, uh, the inside is the most fun to decorate because it's the most fun to paint because you can decorate it and the outside is just one color. And also saying something like I was going to make the handles. I was not going to make the handle. I ended up just buying handles because it's too hard to make a handle and I don't know the first thing about wood crafting. Yeah, so that's why I just bought handles. The handles actually turned out really good. They were probably the favorite, my favorite, but that's kind of way into the future of this. So I'm just showing like, oh yeah, well, let's see, this is how, this is how much fun it is. You can just like, there's so much that I can paint. There's so much I can do. I ended up not doing a lot. Uh, showing how and now it is time to paint I'm gonna play music behind this but what I'm doing is pretty much mix the colors painting the insides and then painting the outsides so I'll come back to recap about what I just did, but I'm just gonna play some music.
was a good transition. I'm gonna start off saying that was a good transition. Okay, so to catch up what I just did, I mixed colors, painted it, uh, ran out of paint, had to mix a new color, paint it all over again, uh, paint the wall, the the out the door, uh, tape the door up, paint it, paint it again, and then I also went in with like a watercolor, I think, and painted that little bend that you see on the outside purple. This is probably my favorite side. The other side didn't turn out that good, but I mean, it was okay. So I think I'm just up. Uh, again, with the door, it does not close, so I had to put tape over it. And uh, time to move on to the other side. Music, play. Okay, so quickly before I let, before I go back into the full music, I'm just saying, I did end up having to tape this, uh, glue that part up, so when you see glue, that's why there's glue. Okay, so I painted it. Uh, I did the little um, curve, and now I'm just gonna tape it up. Um, tape some more up, and then I'm gonna start doing some of the things. You can see my reflection. You can see not my reflection, but you can see like the camera, my phone that I'm using as a camera uh, in the background. What am I doing? Um, yeah. Yeah, so that is the inside of the door. Those are the inside. I'm going to start on the outside. I'm going to mix up some colors, um, paint it, and yeah, roll music.
Okay, well, now that the, I don't know why I feel like that, um, anyway, so now that the, now that it's painted on the outside, I'm gonna put magnets on the inside, because, as I said before, these doors don't really close fully or good at all, so I am just going to put magnets, and I did end up changing the color of the pink doors, the, um, right door, a few times. So I'm just finding the placement. Uh, I was, so in this scene you're going to see a lot of mistakes. I was planning on drilling it in. That didn't work. Uh, I ended up going with glue. Uh, so you're going to see that. Oh, so I use super glue. Make sure you have parent permission to use super glue. And make sure you have a parent with you while you use super glue. Because super glue is super dangerous. And if you're going to use super glue, of course, do the things I said before. But also wear gloves. Super glue is dangerous. You don't want to get it on your skin. I ended up using super glue, a mixture of super glue and E6000. So that's what I'm seeing. That's what you're seeing here. I was going to use the screws that it came with, but screws are metal. Magnet is strong. Every time I want, every time I want to screw it in, this screw just stuck to the magnet. So I ended up trying a few more things, but then I just figured out, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna uh, use glue, okay? And then let's roll some music, I guess. <laughs>
Okay, so I have a little bit of time, and I'm just going to show you this now. I've kind of done this voiceover. This is my third time doing this voiceover. But I'm just gluing this with uh, hot glue. Not hot glue, super glue. Super glue. Mm -hmm. Super glue. Um, wear gloves. You don't want to get this on your skin. <laughs> this is a really sad part. This is just... See if you notice a mistake. I'll give you two seconds. If you didn't notice it, I put the magnet in backwards. Backwards. How can I possibly do that? There's no way I can do that except I did. Whatever. I ended up doing the rest of it all camera because I was just like, you know what? Not today. No more mistakes on camera. I'm just not. I did end up uh, fixing the magnet, if anyone was wondering. Probably weren't. Using blue piece of tape. Why not? I did end up having to take off my gloves. For Why wouldn't you take off gloves? That's what gloves are for. If you want to reuse the gloves, just wait to the hot glue. Super glue is dry. Um, then you can reuse, use them if you want. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, green cup. Thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can see my headphones in the shop, so that's great. I ended up having to use some E6000 just for reasons for that. It was a way. Okay, now it's time, now it's time to glue, <laughs> now it's time, not to glue, to, uh, dr drill, drill the handle holes, I guess you can, yeah, um, so I'm gonna grab this ruler, don't ask why I had a playing card, I don't wanna talk about it, I just didn't wanna find the ruler, that's really it, um, measuring, somehow a struggle, don't know why, Ended up measuring, I feel like was the perfect spot. And so, here it is. Here's the final project. I think this project turned out pretty good. I did do a, a few things. I made that cup hot glue paper, not that difficult. Next week, there should be a another double video, like the egg drop video, but painting. That's really going to be all. Like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. Bye.